Chirag Paswan uh, is speaking at this moment uh, from the Lok Jan Shakti party. I met his uncle on the flight to Ayodhya. The uncle thinks he's in charge of the party. It's Chirag who will be flying with JP Nadda in the evening. So the BJP clearly thinks it's Chirag who's in charge. Let's listen to Chirag. And remember, before you see this uh, reaction, keep in mind that it was Chirag Paswan's candidates who diminished Nitish's tally in the 2020 assembly election, at least on two dozen seats. Nitish Kumar would have ended up somewhere in the 70s. The fact that he was in the mid-40s was because Chirag Paswan put up candidates who cut into the vote bank of uh, the JDU. And Nitish blames Chirag for that. And he blames the BJP, which is also one of the reasons he walked away last time. So let's now see what Chirag Paswan, who's attacked Nitish Kumar repeatedly, now has to say. आने वाले दिनों में सरकार की क्या रूपरेखा होती है एजेंडे में किस किस चीजों को जोड़ा जाता है क्या कोई साझा न्यूनतम कार्यक्रम बनाया जाता है नहीं बनाया जाता है इन तमाम विषयों पर आने वाले दिनों में चर्चा होगी आज महत्वपूर्ण था कि मौजूदा और पूर्व मुख्यमंत्री पहले इस्तीफा दे उसके बाद पुनः वो शपथ लें आज शपथ समारोह में शामिल होने जा रहा हूं एनडीए के सहयोगी के तौर पर और जैसा मैंने कहा कि हम लोग लिए ये खुशी की बात है कि एनडीए की सरकार बिहार में आ रही है जो सोच प्रधानमंत्री आदरणीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी रखते हैं विकास की डबल इंजन की सरकारों की मेरे प्रधानमंत्री की अपनी सोच और हम लोग का भी बिहार फर्स्ट बिहारी फर्स्ट को लेकर विजन है मैंने कई बार इससे पूर्व में भी कहा कि मेरा मुख्यमंत्री नीतीश कुमार जी से Chirag Paswan be able to coexist with Nitish Kumar? Will Nitish Kumar give him and his candidates space? That will become a critical question. Uh, we've got Amitabh Tiwari with us. Amitabh, what's your sense? Given the damage that LJP candidates did to JDU candidates in the 2020 assembly elections, will they be able to work together or do you think Chirag and Nitish will keep viewing each other with suspicion? They will keep uh, viewing each other with uh, suspicion. However, BJP will will try to ro play the role of peacemaker here. Uh, if you see, there is no LJP uh, representation in the names which are being circulated. Mm -hmm. Of course, LJP does not have any any MLA here, and Nitish still holds Chirag responsible for the fact that his tally went from 71 to 43 seats, and Chirag's response also is not very easy. He seems very uncomfortable. But what, what does he do? What options does he have? Niti, uh, BJP used him to pare down Nitish's tally, but still went with Nitish as the CM and did not even make Chirag Paswan a union cabinet minister because Nitish stalled that poof. Now, with Nitish coming back into the NDA fold, what does Chirag do? He has no other option but to go with the wind because if he if he wants to retain his seat or if LJP wants to win six out of six or four out of four, whatever they get this time, they have to be on the right side of the NDA because his father was famously known as as as, as the Mausam uh, Vaigyanik. No, no, but so now he... Nitish Kumar is the far bigger Mausam Vaigyanik. I mean, the yeah. fact that he can do this again and again, Ram Vilas Paswan's uh, track record as the Mausam Vigyanik is now in the past. Uh, Nitish Kumar is India's number one, numero uno weather vane. He knows post the assembly election results. He knows post the successful consecration of the Ram Temple, Sanjay Singh, which way the political winds are blowing. But I am intrigued by the internal dynamics of the LJP. The Vishwa Hindu Parishad invited uh, Pashupati Kumar Paras, the uncle of... Uh, Chirag Paswan, the brother of Ram Vilas Paswan, as the head of the LJP to Ayodhya. I know this in a fact because he's on the same flight as me and I asked him, how are you going? He says, I'm in charge of the LJP. But Chirag Paswan flies with JP Nadda to Bihar. So how, obviously the BJP wants uncle and nephew to stay together, but uncle and nephew, and I asked the uncle, can you get along with Chirag? Will there be a kiss and make up? He said, no, it's man mutawe, it's impossible now. How do you see this, Sanjay? Uh, the, Rahul, there is no denying the fact that Chirag Paswan is actually torch bearer of Amilas Paswan's legacy. His brothers are important. Uh, that, of course, is also true. And therefore, perhaps Mr. Hindu Parishad decided to rope in or uh, invite uh, the uncles of Chirag Paswan than Chirag Paswan himself. Chirag Paswan also is a young leader. Uh, he has certain appeals. So, BJP is playing a real politic uh, out here. Uh, while uh, uh, keeping Chirag Paswan out in loop, yesterday Chirag Paswan met uh, Home Minister Amit Shah. That again is uh, uh, very important. 
uh, the rainbow coalition that BJP is weaving, of course, Shirak Paswan and Paswan being Dalit, Paswan votes are significant out there. That again is important. Uh, to larger question as to BJP, I think uh, the larger message that goes out, and I would agree with Jairam Ramesh what he said, uh, that of course has to be extrapolated to the extent that this particular move, the Indy alliance is practically uh, has come to a full stop. It has imploded to a situation that there is no Indy alliance per se. That gives a huge, huge psychological victory point to the BJP. Okay.